As a disclaimer, I am not someone professional. This video is for inspirational, motivational tips on how I took care of myself during quarantine. Let's think about our favorite recipes. I love simple ones with easy steps to remember. There are so many flavors. Salty, tangy, sweet, savory, spicy. What do you like? Think about common ingredients that are in multiple dishes. I usually try to consider buying those more because that means I have more varieties for my meal. Making a list. I love making lists. It's like a blueprint of your mind. Do you make mental lists? Or do you type? Do you use your phone? Budgeting can be fun. We all need to give ourselves limits. But go easy on yourself. Check the prices on your list, total it out. I always give myself a $30 window and stay flexible to deals. Decide for yourself how strict you should be. I went over $94, but I did make compromises and I am being ambitious, planning for two months. Please do what's best for you. Time to gear up. Staying a step ahead keeps me less frantic. Leaving a larger bag in the car helped me bring and set my bag at home safely. I'll be right back. Celebrating a safe return and ready, set, let's disinfect. Soaking my freshies in warm soapy water and I wiped down all my packages with disinfectant. Thank you to friends and families for some of these shared tips. A shared video inspired me. While I was shopping, I called it a pick to commit method. While I was shopping, I pick up the item I commit to and take it. This helped me feel more decisive and ponder less. Seemed like a good habit for the long run. It's always good to take a break. I decided to take a break after halfway through my groceries. Showered and freshened up and decided to tackle the next part. Sorting through my vegetables, deciding what to keep in the fridge versus what would go in the freezer. I was talking to my aunt earlier and she laughed at me when I asked her if I could freeze my okras. And you can't. Well, I decided that that was going to be my meal for the upcoming week. So understand that sometimes it is a learning curve for all of us and you just have to be patient with yourself. If you put your fresh produce in a closed lid container, it lasts twice as long. Oh, also, wax paper helps me separate my meats. I remember I had to make a week's worth of food because all of my chicken froze together. Sometimes lessons can be abundant. Sometimes lessons are learned the hard way. My beautiful carrots, I didn't blanch them, I didn't chop them, and they are not fully orange. Well, I needed to learn how to blanch my vegetables before I freeze them. Trust me, it's so worth it. Finding favorite vegetables to chop up to freeze you can have so many quick, easy stir fries or steamed vegetables. You don't have to take out the cutting board later. All you have to do is boil some water, let your vegetables blanch for about a minute to three minutes. I honestly eyeball this. However, the whole point is 
your vegetables will look better than those carrots. I had a lot of fun figuring out how to freeze and blanch my food. And you know, you have to get creative sometimes. I had one pizza tray to lay everything flat so that everything would freeze separately. However, I didn't have enough trays. So I just layered up and started building vertically.